Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Dante's Boxing Nation. So anyway... Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, in the next couple weeks, we're going to see possibly the most significant fight of the year. Andre Ward versus Kovalev rematch. That was no doubt one of them. In terms of pound for pound status, who the best fighter in the world is, top two, top three, or even number one, this is the most significant fight there is now that Andre Ward has retired. But recently, Guillermo Rigo, he said that Lomachenko refused to fight him at 126. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and quote exactly what Rigo said in a conference call that he recently did. This is what Rigo had to say. We tried and we tried and we tried and he wouldn't step in the ring with me. Now he wants to step in the ring with me at 130 because he believes he has an advantage over me. Now Lomachenko, he heard this and he basically responded by saying that that was all nonsense. He said there's an interview where uh, Rigo was asked if he'll fight Lomachenko at 126 and Rigo said, I don't know why you're asking me that question because I fight at 122. And Rigo said, why are you asking me that silly question? Lomachenko said that video is on YouTube, so what Rigo is claiming is not the truth. This is pretty much what Lomachenko said. You know, I'll say this. The most important thing is the fight did get signed and it's two weeks away from now. But at the same time, there is no doubt about it. We know that this fight was made largely because Rigo was aggressively calling out Lomachenko. That we know for a fact. What we don't know for a fact is who's gonna win this fight. Like I keep telling you guys, this is truly a 50-50 fight. I mean, this is the closest thing to watching a gold medal match in boxing. You have two gold medalists, two two-time gold medalists going up against each other. And what's so crazy is you have Cuba versus the Ukraine, which is Ukraine pretty much is Russia. And, you know, those are the two best teams in the Olympics. You know, they win the most gold medals. The former Soviet Union countries and Cuba. So once again, with that being said, the most important thing I have to reiterate is that we are going to get to watch this fight. I don't believe, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't believe anyone is going to fail a drug test in this fight. The two biggest questions is how is Lomachenko going to deal with Rigo's left hand? And how is Rigo going to deal with Lomachenko's angles? There's a lot of other questions to be answered as well. But that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.